And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're talking about pass backwards. Um, making sure I pronounced that correctly. It's a new party game from r and Games. And what Pass Ackwards is, is it is a, a game in which you're giving clues to your partner. And in fact, with, you're going to see a lot of similarities to um, Password in this. However, you're actually not giving clues to your partner. You're giving clues to the other team. And so what the, the game is very simple. Uh, and you're trying to give clues that don't help your opponents, but that your partner can hear and that will help them. Let me show you. Actually, I'm not going to show you because I don't want to give away the, the clues. I'm going to give away one clue. But what you have is you have cards, double-sided, that you will stick into this little reader. You might notice that this is the same reader that you've seen in their other games. And this way you can check it off. But this has a word that you're trying to guess. Okay? And it has a bunch of clues that you can give. There's nine different clues on this word. And so, let's say it was my turn and I'm giving the clue to you and you are on the opposing team. So I'm trying to get you to guess this word. So I'll give you, how about, uh, catcher. Now from that one word, you then have a guess at the clue. You will probably get it wrong. I'm hoping you get it wrong. Then I give this to the next team and he does the same thing. So he'll look here and he might pick laughing. And then he hands it back to me. And he gives it to me and I say, um, poke. And then he gives it back to their person and they might pick, uh, farm. And then he gives it back to me and I say, O'Leary. And then I give it back to him and now the clues, I mean, the, the clues, we, we pick some of the ones that we think would be harder, but at this point, any of these might give it away. So he picks, uh, dairy. And then I give it back to me if it hasn't been picked by that point and I'd say, uh, milk, you know, and by this time, hopefully you've gotten the fact that it's cow. The two clues we haven't done yet are utter and moo. I mean, I, I would think moo would give it away. And so what you're trying to do is you're trying to give those harder clues away. But some clues, which may be harder for some partners, might be easy for other people. And there have been times where I played this where I came in and they gave the hardest clue that I could think of giving and instantly they, they got it. I said, how did you even associate those two together? But for that person, they did associate them. And that's what makes the game interesting. But what makes it it's fun for me is the fact that I'm sitting there and I'm listening Okay, they said this word, and they said that word. Those words have nothing in common. What do those words have in common? Aha. And then once a third word comes out, usually once you get good at this, you can guess it after two or three words, or four at the most. Uh, although there are times you've gone through every single word on the list and people still don't know what it is. But it is a lot of fun, and it has laughter, usually. But it doesn't require any kind of thinking or creativity. It, it, it just, well, I mean... I'm sorry, it requires thinking on the part of people guessing the clues, but doesn't require the person giving the clue to think of words and such. They have a list and they just read off that list. So the, I guess that could be a negative because, you know, there's only so many cards in the game and once you've gone through all of them, well then that's that. However, there is plenty here for you to go through and it should be a lot of fun back and forth. This isn't one of the best party games I've played, but I do enjoy it because I like that. I like being the guesser, not the person giving the clues because I like sitting there trying to figure out what are they talking about? And for me, that's a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at DiceTowerNews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at FunAgain.com. Shut the door! That's right. Shut it. Boop. Boop.